Hey, it's Declan Ryan, and uh, in today's short video, I want you to just want to be covering a topic of um, what to look for when joining a business. Now, you're watching this video presumably because uh, you're scouring the internet, you're weighing up your options, you're looking for um, some kind of a business that will provide you with the income and the security uh, to carry you forward, to make money online, whether that's just to pay a couple of extra bills or to actually leave your current job so that you can work permanently from home. Now, there's an absolute plethora of choice to choose from. So what kind of things should you be looking for and what kind of things should you be avoiding? Well, amongst the things to look for is how long a company has been going. Now, because of the internet and because of, of Google and the constant um, trawling of, of, of information out there, it's easy to check up how companies have been faring when they were established, uh, what's been written about them. Now, a, a word of, of proviso here. On almost any single company that you're going to find out there, you're going to find somebody using Scam Alert. Unfortunately, you do have to sort of wade through these various different reports to, to kind of weigh up whether this is a real genuine scammer report or if somebody's just using it for SEO purposes. You can find uh, quite often when somebody says, um, is such and such a scam? And then you'll go on to find out that what they're in fact trying to do is um, weed you into, into their own particular uh, business that they're trying to sell. So a lot of people use this as a, a, a hook to get people in because negative headlines attract people, <laughs> it seems, more readily than positive headlines. So you need to separate whether the business is actually fulfilling on its products, or on its promises, um, how long the business has been going, going for, if it is compliant uh, with all both US and UK regulations, that is, um, is it a pyramid scheme? Find out what the definition of a pyramid scheme is uh, before you start sort of firing these 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 terms around. And um, also look around to try and have a look at profiles or, or websites of people that are promoting these businesses. Now, uh, how often are they engaged? What kind of content are these people offering? And um, you could also be having a look at things like um, what is the compensation plan? Are they offering you 40%, 50%, 60%, 100%? Um, uh, and that sort of thing. And try also to find out uh, what their uh, customer service is like, because all companies are all well and good until something goes wrong. Now, the mark of a really great company is how fast they can put those things right and how fast they can sort uh, an issue out to prevent a small issue becoming a really big issue. Now, what you should be avoiding is companies that have, uh, if you, if you, even if you have been marketing quite a while, I would generally tend to steer clear um, of pre-launch companies, companies that are in pre-launch, all these promises when they've got no history to back up the promises with. Um, we're just in pre-launch now, uh, get in while the going's good. We're just in pre-launch before the main event. Um, if, you're, if, if you know that this is a pre-launch to a product of a company that's established, for example, um, the Prosperity team has got a product which is just about to launch and um, we're just about to go into pre-launch. Now, this isn't going to be a very big fanfare of a pre-launch, but it's kind of a launch, a point two of a product which has already been launched last year. This product has got massive track record. It's got people that are, have been earning an absolute fortune from this. What's happening with point two is it's just been made better. For example, in the same way you see, you don't see the same model of car driving around from year to year. You see the, uh, the 2011 version, the 2012 version. Every year uh, it's been made an improvement on. So that's basically what's been happened with, uh, uh, with, with iPass. Um, now, uh, in terms of other things to look out for, um, personally, myself, I would avoid force, force matrixes. Some of them work, most of them don't. Um, so uh, I tend to sort of be a little bit cautious about, about that. So with those few things, then um, I think you've got a couple of good pointers to be going on with. Um, and uh, as I say, 
Um, due diligence never ever uh, is time spent badly. Okay, do your research before you uh, jump into a business and uh, and you won't go far wrong there. So I hope you got some value out of out of today's tip and um, I'd love to hear your 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 take on this. Um, if you've been sort of burnt by companies in the past or if you, if you have any questions about uh, um, uh, companies and, uh, and that sort of thing in general. So leave your comments down below. Love to hear from you and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Make it a great day. Bye bye.